wife. That's why if you are married, would you please listen because you will learn a lot from the Word of God that I am about to share with you. And for John Patrick and Jaisel, you may not understand me right now, but I think this is fully recorded. Okay, and while on your honeymoon, you can play it and enjoy its honor. And for those of you who are getting married very soon and not very soon, I want you to listen carefully. This might be your best preparation for your upcoming wedding. I want to share with you, John and Patrick, and to all of us, the simple understanding of your role or responsibilities as husband and wife. Thank God for the Holy Bible. We have a clear guidelines concerning your role as husband and wife. In Ephesians chapter 5, this is the epistle or written by the Apostle Paul. In verse 18, he said, Sa Tagalog, maganda po sa Tagalog, makinig ka lang sa John and Jaisel. Huwag kayong maglalasing. Oops, hindi po ako nasabi niya. Ang sabi dito, huwag kayong maglalasing dahil nakakasira ito ng maayos na pamumuhay. Sa halip, hayaan ninyong mapuspos kayo sa banal na espiritu. If you are watching sa 24 Horas or ABS-CBN, best of friends, they are drinking and they kill each other because they are too drunk with wine. Kaya hindi pwede makamon si Lord. Even to the best of friends, even to the husbands and wives, because of sobrang kalasingan eh, nakakawasak mo, nasisira ang relasyon. At ang sabi ni Lord, there are two beautiful pictures here, Jan and Jason. Dalawang picture actually ang verse 18. Una, uh, a man who is drunk with wine and a man who is drunk with the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Sa amoy pala, may amoy ala. Sa pananalita, malabalukot ang dila. Ah, okay. And if you're drunk, don't drive. If you want to drive, don't drink. Yeah. On the other hand, uh, God is telling us the one who is drunk with the Holy Spirit. A man who is drunk with wine, nanunutok ng asawa. A man who is drunk with the Holy Spirit, nagmamahal ng asawa. Nag-aalaga. At talagang uh, he, he's trying all his best to build a strong relationship and to have a healthy relationship. And drunk with wine is, all, is obvious. The drunk in the Holy Spirit or with the Holy Spirit is also obvious. Uh, now the question is, Saan ka puso malasin? Sa ala o sa Espiritu? Kung mahal mo ang iyong pamilya, ay mas maganda malasin na sa Espiritu. And then in verse... 23 or 22, 21, the Bible says, Mga babae, magpasakop kayo sa inyong asawa gaya ng pagpapasakop niyo sa Panginoon. Sabagat ang lalaki ang siyang ulo ng kanyang asawa tulad ni Kristo na ulo ng iglesia na kanyang katawan at siyang tagapagligtas ito. Kaya kung paano nagpapasakop ang iglesia kay Kristo, dapat ding magpasakop ang mga babae sa kanilang asawa. Very specific si Apostle Paul. Kanilang asawa. Hindi asawa ng may asawa. Okay? So what is your role, Jaisel, to Jan Patrick? Very obvious, you are to be a submissive wife to your husband. But the word submission, kaya sa other countries like United States of America, very strong on feminine movement, they don't want to submit because of the quality down of husband and wife. But the word submission here is not, it has not to do with uh, being a second class citizen in the home or a slave to the husband. That's not the meaning of the word submission here. Kung talagang mahal mo si Lord, papasakot ka Lord, then handa ka magpasakot sa leadership and headship ng yung husband. So that is your uh, your first goal. The second is to be a supportive wife. 
how many wives na naging uh, hadlang sila sa mga pangarap ng mga lalaki because they are unsupported. Sila pa ang bubungo uh, sa mga magandang plano o di kain ng mga lalaki. Well, the Bible says, because you are his life partner, a God-given gift to, to him, you should support him, him in all things. With all your heart, motivated by love, but there is no other motivation when you submit and and uh, support him only because you love him. You love God and you love him because the Bible says so. Doing this, you are building a, a strong relationship. A healthy relationship may not be uh, it may not be a perfect one, but a healthy and strong relationship because the Bible says so. Well, what about you, John Patrick? What is your role? The Bible says, Gaya na ni Cristo siya ulo ng iglesia. It has to do with headship or leadership. And then, sabi sa verse 25, mga lalaki, mahalin ninyo ang inyong, inyong, inyong asawa. Very specific. Hindi yung asawa na may asawa. Yung asawa mo ang mamahalin mo. Okay? Tulad, paano? Tulad ng pagmamahal ni Cristo sa kanyang iglesia. Paano? Inihandog niya ang kanyang sarili, kanyang buhay para rito upang maging banal ito, uh, kalinis-linis, o makita ng bautismo at ng tubig at ang salita ng Diyos. Ginawa niya ito para may harap siya sa kanyang sarili na maluwalhati, banal at walang kapintasan at walang anumang bahid o tungis. Kaya dapat mahalin ang lalaki See the word tapat? You don't have any choice but to love her. You don't have any option but to love her. Uh, uh, gaya o tulad ng kanyang sarili sapagkat ang nagmamahal sa kanyang asawa ay nagmamahal sa kanyang sarili. So what is your role? Very obvious. A busy wife, supportive wife. Kano naman, you are a sincere lover. Okay. Uh, you can attest it to, to the ladies here. Gustong gusto nilang narinig yung word, I love you. Kung pwede lang every minute, every hour, every day. Pero tayo lalaki dahil sa palabra ni Honor, once I said it before God and before uh, the witnesses, that's it. Say you. Pero dahil ang babae, asawa mo ay babae, ang babae gusto marinig palagi, you have to keep on saying it. You have to verbalize, you have to show your love, you have to cultivate your love, you have to demonstrate your love, you have to manifest your love. How? You can by cooking something for her or doing the marketing for her or pressing the clothes for her. Kasi sa atin eh, uy, hindi naman ako US citizen ah yung Andres Desaya. No. Ang mga, ang mga tunay na nagmamahal sa kanilang asawa, they can do it for her because of love. Kahit ano sabihin ng mga kaibigan mo o kalaro mo, mga macho boy na dyan, wala silang pakilang because this is your wife. This is not their wife. This is your wife. You have to serve her, you have to love her, you have to demonstrate your love. Hindi mo man mapantay ang pagmamahal ng kanyang mga magulang, pero you will try your best. Hindi mo man mapantay yan, dahil hindi pwedeng pantay ang pag-ibig ng mga magulang. But you can try your best. Okay? Imagine, ang naghirap si Mrs. Ang nagpalaki sila, tapos nung kunin mo, finish product na. kukunin mo nalang. Kung baka sana eh, iba ang nagtanim, iba ang nag-ani. So, naghirap. So, the best way that you can demonstrate uh, your love to her by honoring, lalo na sa harap nila. And huwag na huwag mong saktan yan. Ni minsan, di sinaktan ng mga magulang. Ang babae niya, prinsesa yan. Kaya dapat, because of your love, 
you will treat her as a very fragile woman, a very delicate woman. Parang kung paano mo pinahalagaan isang brand new car, eh masigit yan. Eh, yan, kotse lang yan. Yan, asawa yan. Masigit pa noon. So you must be a sincere lover, demonstrate it and show it by your action. Hindi lang pa kung sa lima. And then ikalawa yung be a servant leader. Dito po sa Pilipinas, if you are the leader, you are the one being served. Meron nga acronym ang sasikat na uh, personality dito sa Tarla. Boss, bawat oras, sama-sama. Yung masyadong bossy dictador, that's not what leadership is telling us from the Bible. Jesus Christ exemplifies leadership. Siya anak ng Diyos, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Inubad niya kanyang, uh, kanyang outer garments. At naglagay siya ng uh, towel sa kanyang laylayan. And then nagigibe ng tubig at isa isa inubasa ng paano mga disciples. That is servant leadership. Demonstrated at nagsilbing ehemplo ang ating Panginoon Christo. If you can do that, you are building a strong relationship, a healthy relationship, a lasting relationship. And you can be an, an inspiration to, even to your best friends, and to your rel relatives and loved ones. Kaya simply lang, ang mga guidelines ni Lord, submissive wife, sincere lover, supportive wife, servant leader. The greatest need in the world today, Jan Patrick, is leadership. Kahit na masama, tao, basta leader, susundin na tao. What we need is a good and responsible, loving leader. A good and responsible husband, a good and responsible father. That's the kind of leadership that we need it today in every home. If kung meron tayong ganyan sa bawat tahanan, wala sana mga patapon at mga bata na papalimos sa, uh, sa mga batang lalasan, wala sana. But sad to say, maraming lalaki at babae gusto lang ang sex, but they don't want this responsibility. To love, to lead is a responsibility. To submit and support is a responsibility. By doing so, you are building a healthy and strong relationship. Would you promise to be a lover and a leader? KJ Shop. Jan? Karakordiano. Would you promise before God, Jay Shop, to submit with all your heart, lovingly, and support Jan Patrick's animal plants and dreams? Karakordiano. May I request you to please stand and then walk? Uh, may I request the maid of honor and the best man to stand by with them, please? Stand, uh, stand by them. And I will have an open maid of honor to our best man. This is the best of the people. Okay, we can have an open one. Habang kayo nakatayo sa harapan at presensya ng Diyos at sa Kanya ang lahat ng laman ng puso ay tinayag at sa pagsaalang-alang ng banal na tipara na iyong gagawin na iyong ipahayag sa kalipunan ng narito ang saksing narito ang pangako ng iyong pag-ibig at pananampalataya sa isa't isa John Patrick and Jay Shaw nakakatiyak akong kung ang banal na tipa na ito ay maingat ang lubos ayon sa hinihingi ng salita ng Diyos. At kung maingat din ninyong nasayin gawin ang kalaoban ng inyong mga nanas sa langit, pagpapalain ng Diyos ang inyong pagsasama at ipagkakalaob ang katuparan ito at patatagin ang inyong sabahayan na mapayapa. Kaya, from the bottom of your heart, John Patrick and Jay Shaw, I want you to Bitawan yung salitang o o o yan di ilang na kain. Jan Patrick, tinatanggap mo ba si Jaisel Flores upang maging iyong asawa, mabuhay na kasama niya sa banal na tali ng matrimonyo? Oh, 
Pakamamahalin mo ba si Jaisal Flores at Aaliwin, pahalagahan at pakaingatan sa kalusugan at sa karandaman at manatiling kasama siya habang kayo nagubuhan? Opo. Yan. 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 Jaisal Flores, tinatagaw mo ba si Jan Patrick Chuateco? upang maging iyong asawa ang buhay na kasama niya sa banal na tali ng matrimonyo? Opo. Yes. 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 Yes.